Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up global functions in OpenTX. This this basically will work on pretty much any FR Sky GNOME radio that's running OpenTX or any other transmitter in general open no, running OpenTX at least 2.2 and above. I believe 2.2.2 is out right now. I'll probably be making another video on how to update that. Mine currently only has 2.2.1 at the moment. This should work regardless. Anyway, what are global functions? Global functions are typically a lot of times when people are using any kind of model, they may want to set up some of these switches to like to do certain um, some functions. Like for example, I like to use this num knob to control my volume, and then this one I usually will con usually controls like the volume in general like how to mute it or put it on maximum volume without having to turn this, but I usually like to just have it on this. Uh, global functions also can work on other examples that you can do on this is, I mean, there's almost an unlimited amount of things um, that you could do with this, but in my general case, I mainly use it for volume and stuff that I use across the board on any model. Meaning like, for example, this red switch right here is usually has something to do with arming this one has something to do with modes. This one's usually like my LEDs, but that's pretty much on all my models in general. I use the exact same switches. So basically what I'm getting at, let, let's go and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and exit out and show you what this looks like when you completely snow boot up. You wanna go ahead and turn on your transmitter. You wanna push and hold the menu button and then go over to page three of nine which will tell you global functions. So in my case, I'm going to basically set this knob to be my volume in this example. And I'll also show you on my arming example, um, like sound wise, what I'm, what I'm talking about. But right here, you wanna scroll down to GF1 and you wanna click on that. Then the next tab over, you wanna click enter. And in this case, I'm gonna use this switch right here as up and then push enter, scroll down to the next num section, hit enter, and we wanna scroll all the way up to volume. Then click enter and go to the next section or scroll down to the next section. Then push enter, once that's flashing, we wanna scroll all the way up till we see this knob right here, which is called S1. So click enter, then we want to click over and then make sure this is checked on. So the next thing, you want to go ahead and exit, move down to GF2, hit enter, enter again. And then this time I'm going to switch this down. Then we're going to click enter, page over to the next section. We're going to go over to volume. Then we're gonna scroll down to the next section and then again, S1. So this will be volume to go down. And I'll, I'll explain all this in just one second once we're done setting this up. But right here, we're gonna scroll all the way up to S1 and then click enter. So basically what I just did now is it doesn't matter in which direction this switch is at at the moment, but the basics of this is now this Pot no, potentiometer right here, or this knob, now controls my volume. So I don't know if you can hear this, but you can hear these clicks going up and low. So if I scroll this way, it makes the volume go down. If I scroll that way, it makes the volume go up. You can just do this with just one, with this switch being in one direction, but I found that sometimes this bugs out on some types of models. So sometimes I'll completely just have up and down as the same thing. And then I usually will change this to a mute. This is a little bit more complicated to make this mute. You can make this max, but to make it mute, it requires some more, I'll explain that in another video. But here's another example of a global function that I like to use across the board. We're gonna go to our next GNOME function switch. We're gonna click enter. Now that that's highlighted, I'm gonna go ahead and flip this guy to the middle. 
because that's usually one of my arming modes. So I'm going to click enter. And then we're going to go and click here. And we're going to this time scroll all the way up and play sound. Then we want to scroll down and actually play the sound we want. So here, let's turn up the volume a little so we can hear exactly what beep or tone I'm going to be using. So that's beep one. That's beep two, beep three, warning, and et cetera, et cetera. So I think I usually use Ta-da. So basically when he goes to the middle, this basically lets me know that it's actually armed. So it's basically, so I think that's not actually it. I believe it's the one I typically use is So right here you can actually do it as a siren sound. So when it's in the center that just basically lets me know that it's armed. And I mean there's plenty of other sounds. You can actually you can actually custom you can even make your own custom sounds which I'll I'll show you at the, on my next one which no I'll do which is a custom one and in another video I'll show you actually how to make a custom one. But right here, I think I'm just going to, for right now, for no, the sake of this video, leave this at Siren. Now that we got Global Function 3, or I like to call it Global Switch 3, no, I have it set so that this switch right here, which is called SG, when it's in its middle position, that's what that negative sign means, it will play sound Siren one time. So basically, if I flip it to this position right here, as you can hear, the siren just went off. That just lets me know that my model is now armed. And that's on all across the board. I always have that ex exactly set up in that position. You basically have, you can do all the way up to like 64 functions. And there's so many different things. I mean, let me just go back to right here to another no, function, global function 4. And we'll just, for kicks and giggles, just use this switch for right now. And then, so right here, you could technically make this switch to automatically switch to trainer mode. Or you can have, like, reset timer, re um, set timer, volume, fail safe, play sounds, play tracks, play value. You could do Lua script. You could play music. You could do Varios. I mean, there's there's a lot of different ways of you could setting this. Like, here's another cool one I just realized. You can actually set so that you know. Um, I forgot I even had this one on my old setup. But basically, you can actually control the brightness of the screen right here. Because most of the time when you're in your FPV goggles, you're not looking at the screen. So why waste power of the light being on? So usually you can set, like, for example, this one. I can set it to be... On always off middle one can be so like it's at medium brightness or normal and then this one can be on always on and then you could set the different variable settings on here you can also take a screenshot of the and I believe that's all the stuff that you could do at the moment one last thing I want to show you is for example we just created global function 4 and if you want to just quickly just re no, delete this, all you got to do is just hold enter and then scroll up and clear and you basically completely deleted a function. And that's basically global functions in a nutshell. If you like this video, go ahead and click like and subscribe. No, um, go ahead and share this with your friends if, no, um, if you guys are new to the hobby and you never knew about global functions and how they work. And if you have any comments or questions, go ahead and leave them down below. Uh, give me suggestions on any other videos or anything else you may need help with and I'll see you in the next video